Emash Emash at Ukmesiaya. Mewela Emash at Shisha Swia. All no more chalap. Tasmanat. Ate Lakmenot. The Titu Shams to Shashi Shatlam. All noms chalap. All noms to run. Smanat. E Timslakmenot. The thing we're doing now is um, trying to um, trying to record and preserve the language in any way we can. Yeah. Uh, today we were uh, recording words for the museum exhibits. Yeah. Yeah. In some cases the words uh, come to mind right away, in other cases we just don't know, so we have to do our best and, and make up. We were just talking about uh, uh, fishing, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and the fishing net, uh, Swolten. Net weight. Oh, it's booms. <laughs> I was thinking gross weight. Net Oi. weight. <laughs> <laughs> Net weight. Net oh, weight. Yeah. Uh, fishing net. net. <laughs> it's probably a fishing net. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll put fishing oh. net on there. Okay. Fishing that, net that, weight. That, that, yeah. That's um, little isn't it? Uh, 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 what number are we on? That's 50. 50. 50. 50. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. oh, that's, that, that's, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, no, uh, sinker, that, you're talking about a sinker, aren't you? Like the yeah, sinker on the net? Yeah, uh, sinker. Yeah, okay, now we're, we're going to get it. It's coming up. Uh, okay, let's, is that? I was always looking forward to uh, seeing uh, Ron when he was coming. It took me a while, but I've been in there ever since it started. That's how important it is to me. And I'd do anything to get there, to make sure the language keeps going. I'd like to see everybody using the language, because it's our first, our first language to begin with, not our second. Okay. When I came to school, I, I didn't really know how to speak English. That was our, our language was our main language then. We had to learn to speak the uh, English language to survive, to, to survive the way we were in the residential school. Otherwise, we were very well, quite abused. Language is so important to me. Uh, I have been following in my mother's footsteps. She was the one who did the curriculum for our language to keep it in the schools. And the elders are the ones that do the translating from English to our language to use it in the schools. So I'm kind of following my mother's footsteps and it's very, very important to me. You know, we only have like eight elders now. And before this group, it would have filled up this whole, whole room. It would have been 40 elders. Now we have like five of them that speak the language fluently and it's very important that we get all the information we can from them. Because when we lose an elder, we lose a bit of history every single time.